Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, you seen the no purse? I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in the bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Grr. It's the Month Food Podcast. We lit. We lit. Yo, listen. Whole lot of gang ish. Make sure you streaming out strictly for the fans. You know, the KSI diss track just hit 50K and them things. 50 things. The thing we thangs. just hit 50, man. The thing we just upped that 50 on them, man. 40,000 subs. Throw your fours up in the air. You dig me? Bang, bang. Strictly Last night for the fans. Sunglasses and Advil. Strictly for the fans. Merchandise is out now and stores exclusively. Link in the description. Make sure you go check that out. That blue thing is real nice. I'm going to just keep promoting that one because it's my favorite. But go cop that, man. Your favorite color, your gang tie. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. You know what I mean? They got that new Mudfu merch coming soon, though. That shit going to be fire too, man. We out here, bro. Anything else? Um, new music coming soon. Script project. Uh, Facts. Me and Dax. Dax feature. Uh, got a feature. Me and Crip got a whole project coming together. So and it's, it's coming together lovely. So the top is so much better than the bottom. So much better. So much better. <laughs> anyway, so much better. man, yo, it's 2018. You know, we about to wrap the end of the year. Thang, thang, thang up. You know what I mean? And so we was talking. We was like, yo, maybe we should give them like the, the pregame of the pregame for the yeah, end of the year wrap up. Yeah, just like the talking about it. The, the real one. We going to refresh our memories. Notes, notes of some sort. It's going to be some sort of lit list, but I'm going to tell you right now, I definitely drank way too much last night to be using that much brain power. So we're going to be just, yeah, you know I mean, running down the list of things. And it's a good way to jog our memory. Yeah. Of what we're going to research with us because your guys is have, you guys have a job. You know what your job is as the fans that are watching right now to think of your biggest moments of 2018 and drop them in the comment section and let us know, bro. Let us know. What were so, the biggest moments of 2018? From the so beginning. And please, we know Kamikaze. So, like, we know everything from Kamikaze to now. So, if we could just think of the beginning of the year, we lit. <laughs> we lit. So, yo, so what do you remember from the beginning of the year? Anything? Nothing. I mean, nothing really. That's why you got the list. The biggest thing at the beginning of the year to me was Victory Lap. That, and then, uh, when did that drop? like the very beginning of the year. Yo, so when I came out, this would be a good way for me to remember. When I came out, there was the beginning of the year, right? I left on New Year's. You left, so yeah. Like, you came right, like you came back, like January fifth. So it was like literally the beginning of the year. So Block Boy JB had just came out with riding in the mud, up and roll, the. That's Niggas about, talking bro. down now, no, yeah, and then Wait, let's, let's 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 well, I'm gonna definitely say you called Black Boy JB being a big person. I when I, I tell you, you, you were like, as soon as I got <coughs> the air, remember you picked me up at the airport, like bro, you have to hear the song, and then we got there and he was like, this dude's doing like the dolphin dance. I said, this is the most elegantly whack shit that I've ever heard in my life. I was like, listen. This is fire, and I don't know why it's fire, but it just is so real. And I was block, you know, bumping that block, boy. Oh, yeah, Billy Seiko dropped that Billy Dot. That came out at the beginning of the year. I didn't know Six I shot that video. Yeah. That was his man's. He was in it and everything. Yeah, he said at the beginning well, of it. Six I was a video guy before he was. Uh... Yeah. It's crazy. But, yeah, keep going. Facts. So, Billy Seiko dropped that. Um, Rover was like a really thing, really big thing. Uh -huh. Um, victory lap was a very Wait, big... go back to Rover for a second. So, did you think Block Boy JB, well, first of all, how do you think his year was in, 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 in total? Short. I cannot believe that he dropped 
look alive less than a year ago. That seems like a lifetime ago. And like listen, the crazy part about Black Boy JB to me is he was bigger than the shoot dance at first, right? Like before the shoot dance had really, really taken, 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 taken off, right. he was bigger. And then I'm telling you, when the it it almost seemed like Look Alive was was Drake featuring the shoot dance. Yes. Because like that song got so much bigger uh, 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 after that, and it, the dance got so much bigger that I don't think I think it eclipsed him like two million. Yeah, it, he kind of he kind of thrillered himself. Like I'm glad just... Millie suing Fortnite. Boy. <clears throat> so is Black Boy. Good. So is Good. Black Boy. Black Boy gets what he deserves. I think all in all, as weird as this sounds, I think the thing about Black Boy is he still has people that that listen to him. Like he drops music and he has he has songs that drop every once in a while that that do like well numbers wise. Like I pay attention to that. Um, I think that he obviously doesn't have the same buzz he had before, but we see that very commonly with double XL freshmen is that they kind of just, after the freshman cover drops, a lot of them just disintegrate. But did he disintegrate? Was he disintegrate? Yeah, he was. He, was. I said, he I got a Vlad interview and I swear to God, I don't ever remember that interview ending. It was just like a few parts got uploaded and it was just like, yeah. That's weird. And, like, it just, I don't know. He never really had a lot of crazy, like, publication. Um, I mean, he had a Breakfast Club interview, you know, stuff like that. But it's just, like, his... So, here's my thing. Do you think it was a good year for Lockboy? I mean, for him, I bet hell yeah. I mean, but for us looking in, like, the career-wise, not really, you know. I mean, like, he I had a big moment. Him, but it might, it's like cashing out in Vegas, where it's, like, it's a good year, but the question is, is next year going to be a good year? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it That's that's one of the <laughs> biggest things. Um, what else? And you, okay, what happened after that? What's up for that? Victory Lap Drop. Classic it, album. Classic album, very big. Rap Anytime niggas classic. was a huge, huge moment in hip hop. After you sample Hard Knock Life, I think uh, that's when niggas know it's real. That's a band. Um, a Nipsey to me had a very big year. Um, at the beginning of the, the year, slap her around the world. That was this year when he caught that dude with the. Your mom just got your report. Found you trying to hide your report card. Slap. Facts. He, he he got all five, all his fingerprints. They could have definitely took fingerprints off of that shit. That's a fact. Banga da. Um, also, God's Plan came out at the beginning of the year. Does anybody remember Diplomatic Immunity, though? No, you don't. Because Drake waved that neuralizer in front of his... That didn't even happen. Nope. That but, came um, out with God's Plan. God's Plan came out on January 19th, so that was at the beginning of the year. That was a huge moment. Video was super viral, obviously. Um, that was like the Drake comeback. That was like what people were waiting to hear after Scorpion. Been kind of quiet for Drake. They wanted to see drop that even God's after, plan. What? Even after views? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, more life. Isn't that what you I said? said? You said after Scorpion. Oh yeah, yeah. I meant more life. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> um. That was obviously a huge, uh, huge minute. Um, you, uh, Kendrick Lamar's uh, Black Panther don't drop with the with yeah. the movie. That Black Panther that itself, close. Black Panther the movie was took a couple of months out of the year from January. That was a moment in hip hop. Yeah, Black facts. Was definitely a moment in hip hop. That's a fact. That's an absolute fact. Um, Lil Baby made his. Debut. Um, Lil Baby? Lil Baby. Lil Baby. He had a great year then. I didn't even think... He, he made his debut in 2018. That's when he was like really getting popping. Lil Baby wasn't well, really popping like that before 2018. Was he out before 2018?
I don't know. Regardless, he had a great year. Yeah, he did. He did. I mean, as far as being relevant, I'm not a huge little Baby fan, me personally. Um, but definitely stayed relevant. Um, obviously, the Cardi B and... Um, and uh, well, Cardi B dropped her album. This was kind of her album. Is I mean, this kind of her year as far as like big albums go. She dropped that. Um, her beef with Nicki Minaj, obviously. Stir Fry came out. That was a big moment. Stir Fry like came out song. and Walk It Like I Talk It. That you know, I didn't realize that that was the sample from Onyx's Slam. Huh. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, that makes sense, though. That makes sense. That's funny. Motorsport. That was oh, obviously that was a moment. moment. That was, yeah, that was a that huge was, That was the official, I think, changing of the guard between Nikki and Cardi. I think that was the moment right there. Because up until then, everybody was like, oh, Nikki signed, like, heavy. But then that was... Not, like even, the, not even the side thing. It was more like, it was like, oh, Cardi's just up and coming... Nikki's like the, it, that was when it was more like okay it's it's Cardi season now. Man, yeah, that's a fact. Um, then obviously trickling into right before June, um, we had the whole Pusha T and Drake situation. So that was like I still mean, going on. Still going on. Facts. That was a big moment. Big moment. Definitely. Then Drake Scorpion drop obviously did crazy numbers. Oh, <laughs> forgot. J Cole drop. KOD. KOD on 420. Facts. That's a fact. That album saying. got snubbed a lot. Yeah. Didn't get, it, they kamikaze it where they didn't, it, 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 they didn't really nominate it for much or anything. Yeah. I mean, I think it was because it was so at the beginning and not, I don't know. That's why it's so I don't crazy. know. J. Cole's last couple of albums really didn't resonate too well, to be honest. Here's what I'm saying. If you drop right in the beginning of the year, you better have something to drop at the end of the year. It almost doesn't make sense because you definitely get for the beginning of the year, bro. Yeah. People forget it. You, yeah. it's, it's too much. Do you know how much stuff happens nowadays? Yeah, so much. There's like 50 things that happen in a week. I mean, just from like, okay, we started the monthly podcast like um, in August, right? The very end of August. And like at the time... When I tell you nothing was happening in hip hop, like the Drake situation had already passed and stuff like that. And like when <coughs> me and me and Screw was sitting there trying to like, yo, we had to go back and do like our top 10 records of all time and stuff. Like, not that we didn't want to do that because that was fun, but like there was nothing. I said nothing. Nothing happened at all in hip hop, bro. Like. Cardi, I mean, uh, Nicki Minaj was, like, the only thing that was, like, happening for, like, literally a month straight. And it was just, like, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, when she was, like, going through her little mental breakdown and stuff like that, um, right before the Queen album. And then the Queen album dropped, and that came and went like that. World dropped right around the same time. World's obviously one of the most successful albums of the year. What else you remember? I remember, honestly, my memory kicks in from the, like, from the, put from, like, June. Yeah. Like, that ass. Well, I mean, KOD and stuff was at the beginning of the year, so I guess Yeah, but that, that. I still kind of can't remember what was going on around that time. There wasn't a lot. Oh, yeah, J. Cole and Wale put their differences aside. Weren't they, like, beefing? Or am I tripping? I, I don't know. I, I think, think so. They were, I think yeah. they were, like, uh, it, it, when J. Cole dropped that um, thing and they were talking about, he was talking about uh, Wale when he was in the bus or whatever. Facts. That was from 2017, but, yeah, facts. Everyday struggle um, ended. Well, I mean, didn't end, but you know what I'm saying. No Joe, no show. You know what I mean. So that stopped. Joe Budden's podcast blew up. Crazy. What did? Joe Budden's podcast. Oh yeah, Joe Budden podcast, like the biggest podcast. He caught a big deal. Shout out to the God. Um, 
kamikaze, obviously. What about interviews? What do you think some of the best interviews this year were? Dang, that's hard. To, damn. I think that Drake interview, the shop one, was a really good... That was a really good interview. I think Pushers. Yes, Pushers and Chance the Rappers. On Joe Budden? Huh? Pusha and Pusha and Chance the Rappers on Joe Budden were both really yep. good interviews. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Like six nine. Obviously six nine. I don't know how we forgot about that. Six nine was one of the biggest things this year, if not the biggest, most talked about even that now. Breakfast Club interviews like one of the biggest interviews of the year, period. It is the biggest interview. It's the biggest interview on uh, the Breakfast Club, period, ever, ever. He did numbers, yo. He did numbers. That's one thing that nobody can take away from that nigga. He definitely did his bid. Nah, now nah, hopefully, I mean, he might have to really do one. Yo, the last six nine Breakfast Club interview has nine million views already. It's only 7 million views away from the original one. Yo, he puts up wild... In, in, a, in, in a month. The thing about him is he's like a double-edged sword because <coughs> if you hate him, you have to watch him so you can have more fuel to hate. And if you like him, you have to like him because he puts out so much stuff. And he's always so, like, in the media. So it's like... He, he, like, really can't lose at the end of the day. He's still getting the clicks, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, he could definitely lose. He's in the process of losing. Oh, yeah, he's losing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as far as life goes now, but I'm talking about, like, when he was out and, you know, doing numbers, he, the, he had a good thing going. <laughs> Which is why I don't understand why they was doing this, this though. If you got the power to drop videos that was getting hundred half a billion views... You're eating. There's no way around that. There's just no... It, it, it wouldn't make sense. Facts. If, if, if you're then focused on doing anything else but duplicating that process. Yeah, that's a fact. That's you a think if I'm sitting here getting half... Listen. My videos start making a band a video. Nigga. Right now, you think a nigga come to me with some illegal shit and then I'll be like, yeah, nigga, I'm done to do that shit. What? Nah, like, yeah, no. I'm definitely tripping. Definitely, absolutely bugging. Not out here. It's, Just it's, it's hustling bad. backwards. What happened? It's hustling backwards. You're supposed to get out the jail, become the rapper, and blow up. Not blow up, become the rapper, <laughs> and, and go, go to, to jail. jail. Facts. <laughs> Facts. That's an absolute fact. It's crazy, man. A lot. We lost a lot of people. You said how many rappers died? 26 rappers died this year. That's crazy. That is absolutely, positively crazy. There's 12 months in a year, bro. That's two a month. That's wild. That's wild, bro. That's wild. Definitely been a crazy year, man. 2018 has been like a really memorable year in hip-hop. Like, yeah. Just yeah. so much stuff happened and just so many different things developed. It's and... been an absolute, and I usually don't be saying this in the years because I used to be like, but it's been an absolutely batshit off the wall year. Like, it's been like, you got a little bit of everything. Tori and Joyner, yep. you got a little bit of everything this yep. year. Like, Everything. Everything but a Kendrick album. It went. I mean, basically, you did get yeah, a Kendrick Yeah, you did album. get a Kendrick album, basically. And you got a leaked project. The leaked project and the other yeah. Jones. So, I mean, really. But, like, man. Wild year, bro. Wild year, bro. Wild. Definitely a lot of stuff. I can't think of the last time. I think maybe 20, like, 12 was the last time that. Like, when the Control Verse dropped was the last time I could remember that was just, like, this, like, much stuff in a year was just... 2012 was a crazy year, too, but 2018 is going to be going down into history books. Yeah, that's a fact. The fine. story of Takashi 6 9 the story of Cardi B, too many, too much legendary shit happened. Bodak Yellow was last year, I think. It no, was Bodak. last year, but, I mean, it was well, it still, like... number one was this year. This though. year, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. It's been a crazy it's year. It's been a wild year. Been a lot of changing of guards. 
the biggest people, some of the biggest people who've been the biggest people in their lane for years kind of got moved, like Nikki, Facts. like everybody in 69's lane. Facts. Like, it, it, the, the guard was changed this year a lot. Yeah, man. And it went from just like being at the beginning of the year, like, and then like by the end of the year, man, lyrics were just like the number one thing. Just real hip hop is like people were trying to get back into a competition form. Um, I mean, body movie drop shit. Even hip hop, like, I mean, if you talking about that, Murder Mook came back and battled. Crazy moment. Jay Mills came back and battled. That shit was trash, but that's still crazy. King Los battled this year. That's, I mean, a, you know, decent moment. Um, <clears throat> shit, KOTD fell off. <laughs> <laughs> RBE one of the biggest uh RBE one of the biggest Jones up now like yo a lot of, a lot of change man it's a fact man let us know in the comment section bro what you remember from this year biggest moments smallest moments important moments in between moments small but your favorite moments of 2018 it's profit monthful gang Grr. Bow.